my lovely humans welcome back to my channel i'm fca and um we are pre-filming for transparency um it is actually december 30th today in my past time current time um and uh i have the time and energy we're gonna do some videos looking very similar you are welcome anywho on to the video itself we are going to be talking about my top personal picks for are they aren't they couples um specifically in media i'm going to just disclaimer it all right now i do not watch a lot of tv i do not watch a lot of movies so my it's going to be have to be something i've seen and experienced i realize and understand that there are um many are they aren't they when are they going to slow burn couples like in gilmore girls and how i met your mother i have not seen or indulged in those shows i think there was one in the office too but i've only seen a few episodes of that don't hang me from the raptors um, we all have different things. YouTube is actually my media preference. Um, also other things for are they, aren't they couples. There has to be multiple instances um, and alternating instances of tenderness and tension throughout uh, the series. Um, there does not have to be a conclusive did they actually get together, did they not um, for the end of the series or whatever it is. Uh, for my personal countdown again this is my personal opinion i'm not saying that you're wrong it's not that i'm wrong this is just thought in my head that i thought would be fun to video share with all of you all right all right i mean feel free to tell me opposing opinions politely we we can be civil i know the internet isn't known for that but we can try <laughs> and uh, or tell me your favorite ones from series that I haven't seen that you're like, oh, if you like this, you should probably get into checking out these other things. Alrighty, alrighty. So, disclaimers out of the way. Let's get on with the list. We are going in ascending order. So, from who I think is the, on my list, the last couple, and I'll give those reasons, leading up to our number one my number one so i have my little list off to the side over here on my clipboard my fun clipboard i want to get another clipboard maybe in a different color to put some other stickers on that's a future video right now <laughs> my my number eight pick eight is my favorite number is going to be calvin from calvin and hobbs and Susie durkin same series so this is a comic series I just had the brilliant idea that I own a lot of these. Um, so this is Calvin and this is Hobbes. And the character who I'm talking about in question is Susie Durkins. Now, Susie Durkins is the only Calvin and Hobbes character to be given a first and last name. Um, his parents aren't even given names because Bill Watterson, the brilliant author and creator of the series, uh, said that they weren't important, that that didn't matter. And so Susie Durkins, there are numerous things, and I will link below, I will find specifically the Valentine's episodes, but there are multiple times where Susie and Calvin play together. Sometimes they're enemies. He tries to cheat off her in school. They throw snowballs and try to get each other in trouble. But there's lots of times where they play together. There's a lot of things of them playing house and house goes wrong. Um, and the Valentine's episode in question, you will see that they, um, they secretly like each other. It's hinted a whole lot. Um, it's never definitively done because it's just a very imaginative series. Uh, but yeah, so they are at the bottom one because they're children and I don't want to be too weird, but they do have that on and off. Oh, we like each other. No, we don't. We're going to hit each other upside the head with snowballs. So that is my number eight um, at the bottom of the list. Number seven is Phineas and Ferb characters. Phineas 
and Isabella. Isabella is, I think she's the leader of the Fireside Girls, which is the series version of Girl Scouts. And she has repeatedly shown interest in Phineas um, in the big movie of Phineas and Ferb. Spoiler alert. She does attempt to kiss him and then he doesn't remember it. Um, so she likes him. I was hesitant about this one. It's going to show up on another list in um, next week's uh, show too. Um, show next week's video uh because yeah these two go back and forth a lot they have they don't have uh, very much in enemies to lovers things like a lot of the other um couples on this list but the two of them there is a are they aren't they everyone else kind of sees them this way they have the chemistry why aren't they together yet so uh because of that i decided that it was enough to put it on this list, but I also thought that it deserved to be put on next week's video as well. Coming in at number six on the list are Haley and Dylan from Modern Family. Ever since I learned how to put pictures like on the thing, I'm so excited. <laughs> I know it's not new, but I'm really excited. I just learned last October, okay? <laughs> um, Anywho, yeah, these two have been on and off. Haley's mom, who I have made a short about that I do not like um, in the series. She's my least favorite character. Um, absolutely hates Dylan, hates that they're together. Um, and Haley is, you know, she's that very popular, stereotypical, dumb girl who's really pretty and she's with her originally starts out to be, you know, rocker chic boyfriend. He doesn't really seem like he's a bad guy. He just also doesn't have all of his working brain cells. And yeah, these two have broken up. When he proposed to her, she turned him down, even though her mom turned her down, him down for her. It was very weird. Um, but yeah, we are... We are going to chuck along with that. And I like them because they do seem to actually genuinely like and care for each other. Um, and I, do, I don't think he's a bad guy. I think they're a cute couple. Um, but they do obviously have the whole teenager on and off again things. But even as they get older, um, they continue with the back and forth, back and forth. Number five, we're in the top five. We are talking about the very big anime, my favorite, one of my favorite animes, Sailor Moon, which is Sailor Moon X Tuxedo Mask or uh, Serena and Darian. So these two, um, I don't remember, scratch that. If you're unfamiliar with Sailor Moon, um, the whole series is about the main character, Serena, and I forget, is her, her Japanese name Usagi? I think so. Usagi, is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Anywho, she is the moon princess protector, and all of the other main characters all represent a part of the universe um, that used to save the universe and then there was massive damage and they were all protected in little bubbles with their memories erased and sent to earth and her and darian also known as the hero tuxedo mask um he and her seem to be fated to be together but it takes forever for them to get together and then when they do get together he I wanted to always smack him with his own rose because he would be like, I think we need to be apart. We need to break up for no reason. Like things would be going well and he would be like, um, things are going too well. We need to break up. I just can't bear to be with you. And spoiler alert, whenever something would happen, you know, they're facing off with a villain and Serena, you know, in the Sailor Moon thing, she's about to get it. Tuxedo Mask comes in and saves the day. And, you know, again, he, for reasons we don't know, no one knows who anyone is. 
She's not wearing in the Sailor Moon universe. This is like look at this. There's no mask. There's no different hairstyle. There's just a change of clothes. And nobody knows who these people are in and out of their costumes. Like they're not even wearing sunglasses. At least Tuxedo Mask has, you know, glasses and a big cap. You know, something to disguise him a little bit. I digress. Coming in at number four, we have one of my favorites, Bob's Burgers, Tina and Jimmy Jr. So these two, I hate that they're shown to be together. I wish that Tina would just get with Zeke. I have a whole nother video. I'll link up there in the cards and below and everything else explaining that. But for the sake of this list, they, she has a constant craving for Jimmy Jr. And she, they get together a couple times, but sometimes he's like, oh, I'm so into you, Tina. You're the only one I can talk to. They, um, he gets jealous over her numerous times, but he also casts her aside, ignores her and doesn't really treat her as anybody special and doesn't, especially early on in the season, doesn't really super reciprocate her feelings. And it's unknown if that's because he's just not as romantically mature as Tina appears to be. Or if Tina just is so lost in fantasy that she isn't able to see what's really happening. She's not the smartest uh, burger on the grill. Coming in on my number three list, because I feel obligated to do so, and I'm familiar with the series, are Ross and Rachel from Friends. Some people are going to get mad that they're not number one, um, but they are in the top three for good reason. Throughout this whole series of Friends, everyone's sitting there going, it's even made fun of in the series itself. There's one point where Monica and Rachel are in a fight, and Monica goes, I hate Ross, I love Ross. And there's a whole back and forth. And they do have a very large series of dramatic rises and falls. Um, and it was a very are they, aren't they situation. Like I think for a lot of people, Ross and Rachel from Friends are the epitome of the on and off couple. So they are at my number three. I don't think I need to go into any more depth about that. <laughs> Number two, another live action series coming up here. We have Big Bang Theories, Leonard and Penny. Uh, Leonard, of course, had a big crush on Penny throughout the series ever since he first met her. And they went through um, two, I think, two breakups that were like legitimate separations of time between them. Um... And yeah, it it was a long running thing throughout the series of are they, aren't they, the on and off. And they do, spoiler alert, end up being together at the end. Um, and it's a, it's a great thing to see all of the developing characters and friendships through the Big Bang Theory. So I think that it was honorable and deserve for them to be in the number two spot. It didn't stop, did it? And my number one are they, aren't they, on and off couples is from the Batman the Animated Series, Batman and Catwoman. Ah! This has been a long running thing. Now, Batman, <laughs> Batman has so many, um, justifiable on off like there's a thing he's got a thing with the joker he's got the thing with poison ivy um there are some versions like there are some things where it, it could be seen where he's comfortable with harley quinn there are some universes with him and robin being a little more than friendly but i think the number one back and forth, up, down, tension, tenderness moments, go to Batman and Catwoman. Not only because, um, depending on which version you go through, the one that I have the most, like, the biggest girl rush for is the animated series. Um, 
most of them. <laughs> but I do, in general, just got a thing for Batman. He's my favorite superhero. I know people dunk on DC, but dude's great. And Catwoman and him, with their constant... Like, we're going to kiss. We can't be together. But we have to be together. I love you. I love you too. Okay, now we're going to fight. It is the top of the line. Like, they're enemies and lovers on top of each other in both versions of themselves. And, oh, suddenly the sun decided to come through the clouds really aggressively. Um, maybe it's to honor that the universe agrees with my number one pick. <laughs> it's shining a light on my enlightenment. <laughs> anyway, that is my list. I hope that you enjoyed. Um, I know this was a little long-winded, but list things tend to be for me. Um, there's another list thing coming up, as I mentioned. And I hope that you enjoy uh, what we have going on here. Again, tell me your agreements or disagreements below politely. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, my humans.